tough for me. I want to make a song. I just don't know how to put it into words. I, I, I love you. Well, guys, the timeline's getting funky. Believe it or not, despite what I do for a living, there is nothing I care less about than influencer slash micro celebrity drama. But what we're going to be looking at today, it's, uh, it's worth the headache. Now, uh, unfortunately, on this channel, we are not exactly unfamiliar with a group of YouTubers known as the Ace Family. We've talked about them quite a few times, and it's never been good, and today is not going to be a whole lot different. Now, if you're unaware, the Ace Family is, or was, a huge family channel here on YouTube, made up of Austin McBroom and his wife, Catherine Pays, Pays, not sure how to pronounce that honestly, and their children. If you've never heard of them, I'm sure you've probably seen them somewhere, and for a while, they were probably the biggest family channel on YouTube. However, a little while back, they announced that they were splitting up, they were getting divorced, and since then, there have been no uploads to the Ace Family channel. Now, we could all just recognize this for what it is, a blessing from some sort of higher power, but, uh, unfortunately, I have bills to pay, so here we are. Over the last few weeks, there has been a, uh, We'll call it a development with this whole Ace Family situation, and it is so unbelievably goofy that I kind of feel silly even talking about it, but it is pretty funny, so I think I'll make it. Austin McBroom, who I think was left by his wife for cheating, has begun to publicly spiral on all of his social medias. He seems to be losing his mind, everything he does is inspired by his ex-wife, and he's doing everything he can to show the world that he wants her back. I believe the man is living in an RV either in the driveway of his ex-wife's house, or like across the street from his ex-wife. I don't really know, the whole situation's kind of foggy, and I don't really want to read into it, because it's pointless. All of these things are exactly what Austin and Catherine want you to think, because there is no way in hell it's not all fake. If you believe Austin is posting this kind of stuff onto the internet unironically, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you are a bit of a dingus. But hey, don't feel too bad, because I was kind of buying into it for a couple weeks there. But all of that changed today, when Austin made Broom released a song with DDG titled Still My Ace. A love song dedicated to Catherine that should go down in history as the goofiest thing ever released onto the internet. Before we watch this, I want to remind you that the guys in this video, the one you're about to see, are 31 and 26, okay? Grown men, alrighty? Just thought you should know that. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Oh man, it's tough for me. I don't understand, man. This is tough for me. I'm still healing, but, uh... Alright, so honestly, as I'm watching this back, I really wish I could suspend my disbelief and think this was real. Because can you imagine the absolute absurdity of this situation, if this was genuine? This guy is living in an RV, and he decides to get his wife back. The best course of action is to write a rap song. And this, this is what he decides to wear in the music video. Pajama pants with his ex-wife's face all over them, a dirty stained tank top, and what appear to be giant sneaker slippers. This could have been great. I want to make a song. I just don't know how to put it into words and DD, I need your help, man. I wrote something and I need you to freestyle it for me. Okay, so, uh, I'm not expecting that much from any member of the Ace family, but that sentence right there might be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I want to make a song, but I don't know how to put it into words. I wrote something. DD, can you freestyle it for me? Okay, so, a few problems. If you didn't know how to put it into words, I feel like you'd have some trouble writing it. And then asking somebody to rap a song you've written is, is almost the direct opposite of what a freestyle is. Maybe this is rage bait maybe that was included to get people to comment that but uh i don't know i'm not convinced i miss you i love you i've been in this rv no heat that right there that little motion, that choreographed shiver, that's when I knew this could not be real anymore. I was like, okay, maybe he's actually going crazy, maybe he's doing cartwheels in public, but after I saw this, I was like, nope, they went too far, they've blown their cover. This is a publicity stunt, 100%. This really goes to show the kind of audience that these family channels have, because people are eating this stuff up. Together for eight years, we don't even speak. You know that I miss you, I'll be watching you right through the tree. This song is almost as romantic as every breath you take. I'm living outside your home, watching you through the tree line. Why won't you take me back, baby? What's funny is I feel like there was definitely a conversation where Austin set Catherine down and was like, look, people on the internet are actually starting to believe that I'm just a crazy person, so we've either got to dial this back, or we've got to do something so stupid that everyone's going to know it's fake. So they decided to write this song. I've been missing the kids 
lately I've been living alone The RV that I got nice But sometimes I just wanna be home In LA we got cold nights I be shivering down to my bones the more I watch of this, the more certain I become that I would pay a hefty sum of money for this to be real. Can you imagine you cheat on your wife of seven years, the woman you've had three children with, and your attempt to get her back to make everything right to make her forgive you is to write a song and then make a B-list, maybe, maybe honestly C-list rapper rap it for you. No hate to DDG, by the way, okay, moonwalking in Calabasas, it's a tune, but I feel like if you're gonna try something like this, you should really shoot for like a, like a Drake level kind of guy. And the entire entire song is just about how it's too cold in your RV. That would be absolutely hilarious and I'm kind of disappointed this is not a real situation. Would you still my ace girl? Would you still my ace? Sparkling but I won't steal. I can never take a hill. Look, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like getting caught cheating and being served divorce papers, going from living in a mansion to an RV, and then having your friend talk to your ex asking her to take you back like you're in middle school is the legal definition of an L. Like, surely you're not considering this a dub, right? At best, at absolute best, you're in some sort of gray area, a limbo between W and L, but uh, no, I think this is an L, Austin. Can I come see you later? They keep asking if it's real Or is this another phase? Uh? Should we private our vids? Or should we just let them stay? Uh? Why would you ever private your videos? Then all of this would be for nothing because you wouldn't be driving traffic to your channel to make ad revenue. Also, without all those videos up, how would you exploit your children? That seems to be like a really, really important part of life for you guys, and I don't think you're ready to give it up. Which I think is made evident by the fact that Austin's Snapchat story today included a 10 minute segment where he made y'all's children listen to this. And no, I'm not joking. At the window trying to check on my baby. I can act like I'm okay, but I'm Faking. I don't know if I can handle you dating. It's been a month. I don't know if I make it. I got lost when I was going to class. I got lost? while I was going to class? Is that in reference to Austin recently enrolling in a UCLA class? Is Catherine your mommy, Austin? I can understand getting lost on a college campus. It happens. But in this context, it sounds like you're trying to throw it in for sympathy like you're a lost dog. Even if this is a joke, there are parts that shine through that are just kind of sad. They making fun of me, I'm going all sad. You and all the kids is all that I had. I was a husband, now I'm only a dad. I've been missing the kids lately. I've been living alone. The RV that I got nice, but sometimes I just wanna be home. In LA we got cold nights. I be shivering down to my bones. But you still my ace, girl. But you still my ace. I'm gonna say something that I wholeheartedly believe. I think that all of this is just a publicity stunt. I don't think they're really separated. If they are, they're gonna get back together eventually, or at least they planned on it. None of this is real, it's all an act, but I will say, I think if there was any turmoil in their relationship before this, this video is really gonna be the nail in the coffin because, uh, not to speak for the women of the world, but I feel like any woman seeing their significant other make a video like this, joke or not, is enough to really just, you know, kill all attraction that there ever was, so uh, they're probably gonna actually get divorced now. Well guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts on what is probably the goofiest thing I've ever seen come from the internet? It's honestly kind of insane to me how many adults I've seen talking about this. I'm exempt. Okay, I'm special. No, but really, I find it kind of crazy how many people genuinely seem to care about this situation. Talking about it is one thing, making fun of it is one thing, but there's a lot of people that I've seen on the internet who are like actual adults who seem to really, really be invested in this, and that is just, that's almost sadder to me than this video. We've got to do better, guys. We have to. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.